Greetings in the name of Jesus this morning. Thank you for tuning in to another devotion concerning notes for the morning. Today, our devotion is centered on which path are you on? Our texts come from Proverbs 4, 18 and 19. The Bible reads, The path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Obviously, our text describe, describes the path of the just and the way of the wicked. And they are in opposite directions. The path of the just are the justified. Those declared righteous in Christ is as a shining light. And the way of the wicked is as darkness. Light and darkness are complete opposites. You cannot travel both paths at the same time. The just are the justified. The only path of justification is in Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul writes in chapter 3 of Romans in verse 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Believers in Christ have come to see their justification is by or through the faith of Christ. It's not our faith. It doesn't become our faith as believers until the gift of faith is given to us. It is speaking of the faithfulness of Christ. Paul writes again in chapter 5 of Romans verse 1, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The just, then, are those who do what is right according to God's word. They are followers of Christ. Jesus said in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Therefore, if you are a disciple or a follower of Christ, who is the light, then you are walking in the light. You're walking in the ways of Christ the ways of righteousness. The Apostle John wrote in 1 John 1, 5, in the C part of the verse, God is light and in him is no darkness at all. You cannot be on both roads at the same time. If you're on the road of light, then the fruit you bear, the testimony that you present will be that of Christ, of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, according to Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Paul listed this fruit. It's the fruit of the Spirit. It is love and joy and peace and long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against there is no law. So not only fruit, but more fruit. And finally, much fruit. If you read John 15, 1 through 5. Our text says in verse 18, that shineth more and more under the perfect day, which indicates a progressive growth in the holiness and righteousness of Christ. In 1 John 1 and 6, John writes, If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. This brings you to the way of the wicked, which is as darkness. It is the way of no light, no wisdom, no guidance, no understanding, and no perception. Our text says in verse 19b, they, the wicked, know not, perceive not, do not understand at what they stumble. When you follow the flesh, when you follow the philosophy of this wicked, evil world, which is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, then you walk in darkness. You walk opposite of Christ, of his righteousness, of his holiness, and of his love. You will bear the fruit of the flesh, according to Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Paul writes in verse 19, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, which means unrestrained lust, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, 
drunkenness, reveling, and such like. Therefore you lie to yourself and others and do not the truth. You are not being led of the Spirit, nor are you walking in the Spirit, and you are not living in the Spirit of God. Wherein lies the problem? The problem is that the path of the light is pleasing to God, and the path of darkness is pleasing to the devil, the father of lies, and of darkness, John 8, 44. The problem is one of deception. Those that walk in the way of, of the wicked are in darkness, and they stumble at what they know not. Question to you, friend. Are you stumbling? You may have confessed Christ as Savior and been baptized, but you're not being blessed. You're stumbling and falling, bitter at the world, blaming everyone else for your terrible position. Nothing is going right for you. You may be depressed, lonely, and defeated, not wanting even to live another hour. You may say, I have tried God and the Jesus thing, but look at me now. Look at my condition. Look where I am in life. I am nothing but a failure. Friend, change paths. You're following the wrong master. You can't follow two masters. It's impossible. You'll love the one and hate the other. You cannot serve two masters. You'll walk. You cannot walk on two opposite roads. Wake up. If you're stumbling and falling and failing, you are on the path of darkness, the road of destruction. It could be that you're not saved at all. Come to the light, Christ Jesus. Look to the Savior. Look to Calvary. Look to the empty tomb. Repent and turn to Christ and confess him. Rest your hope in his death, burial, and resurrection. Finally, if, you, if you're saved already, delivered out of the bondage of sin, however you got stranded in the wilderness of fear and doubt, you're walking by sight and not by faith as most of Israel did in the wilderness in the Old Testament on their journey to the land of Canaan. Israel found themselves wanting to return to Egypt. They wanted to turn back. They ended up dancing around a golden calf and walking in the way of the wicked, the way of darkness. They stumbled, they failed, and finally died in their disobedience in the wilderness. If you are saved, but walking in the darkness, you need to read 1 John 1, 7-9. That is, confess your unbelief. Then step out into the waters of the Jordan River, walk by faith, live by faith, believe in God and his word, and the waters will part for you. Hebrews eleven six says this, but without faith, it is impossible to please him or God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder, listen carefully, of them that diligently seek him. Then and only then will you be in fellowship with God. Notice what John says in 1 John 1, 6-10. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. But if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have uh, not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So my question to you this morning, which path are you on? Is it the path of light or is it the path of darkness? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, that you have revealed to us that we are righteous in Christ. Therefore, we are believers in Christ. We've been granted faith. We've been granted repentance and brought to confession that Jesus Christ is our sacrifice and our substitute and our Savior. He is our Lord. He is our, my master, rather. He is my master. All believers, if they've come to that place, then he is their master, their Lord, their King. 
their all in all. God help us as believers today to examine the path that we're on, to look around. What kind of fruit are we bearing? What is happening in our life? Are we being blessed? Are we internally in fellowship with God? Or is there something standing in between us? Are we failing? Are we stumbling? Are we not being blessed? Do we wonder, where are you, God? Lord, help us as believers to know the way back to God is to get rid of our idols, our gods, and repent and come back to Bethel and be renewed in our spirit. Put off the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new man, which is created after God in righteousness and true holiness. Let us mortify the deeds of our flesh. And God, let us be on the path of the light and not walking with those of the darkness. For we are the children of the light, Paul said. Help us, O God, help your people today to examine themselves. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.